All right, so um, we have gone through the sales analysis, but if you look into the menu, we have also, so you got sales uh, analysis, and then you have purchase, and in, uh, item or inventory. So the question is, okay, so we actually did this one very well. Uh, I went through it and you sort of know how to work with that and you're probably feeling comfortable going and making lots of those for your business. But what about this one and this one? Why are these important? So obviously for purchase, we're just gonna be doing the same thing except we're gonna be going towards vendors. So instead of customers, vendors. Uh, but what about inventory? And I'm actually gonna go into that in this video the inventory is, is a peculiar one because it just sort of strips down the sales into less options. Yeah, uh, and I'm not really sure why. Um, you know, if you, if you have all the options in sales uh, that you have in inventory and more, why wouldn't you just have sales? So it's, uh, it's maybe for everybody out there who has worked with this to leave a comment if you've been using this for, um, for something more particular than the sales one, uh, let me know. But uh, let's take a look at it. I'm actually gonna run through the inventory one and kind of click on and show you how it's just kind of a limited version of the sales one. Okay, so we've been talking about forecasting um, and these reports right here, sales analysis report, sales budgets and stuff like that. Now, we have inventory analysis report. So what is that all about? Why is that different from sales analysis report? Let's take a look. If I go in here, I've actually created a coffee mug inventory analysis, um, just uh, kind of threw it in there. And if I, just let me see, go in here, edit this list and go into the analysis line template. So these would be the lines very similar to how we had it on the sales uh, report. If I go into here, take a look at these lines. Um, and like so. So I've added the Enecta coffee mug here and again, all of this looks almost identical to what we had done before with the sales analysis report, except when you come in here into type. So the type before had customer group, had salesperson, had a lot of different things that are relating to sale. But here it's sort of been stripped down to only show things that are on the item. So you have only the item, item group and formula. And if you go into um, the column layout, if you go out of this, and into um, analysis column templates. So let's, uh, let's just edit the list again here. And I've created one from there. So we'll just go into the columns. The columns are very, very similar to what we had in the uh, sales report. So in all essence, uh, as far as I can see, um, you have Basically, the biggest difference in the types of what you can have in the rows. And it's basically just been stripped down to only show um, item, item group. Um, so here you still have item budget entries. You still have all of this. Um, we have something called value type, uh, which is very similar, again, to what you had on the sales report. So. So in my mind, the inventory analysis is just a subset of the sales analysis. Um, and you're not sure why you wouldn't just do it in sales analysis. Um, looks to me like you can, maybe we can get a comments on that. But if you're only gonna be analyzing the items, uh, item stock quantities and stuff like that, like aging uh, by group or whatever, um, you might as well do it in here, I guess, to, to keep the complexity down. Um, 